Cross River State Governor Ben Ayadi busted into tears on Thursday as he decried the tax burden on low income earners in the state. The governor went on to inaugurate an anti tax agency designed to abolish payment of taxes by low income earners. The move is part of the state's COVID 19 palliative measures. Ayade added that the tax exemption is aimed at encouraging small and medium scale businesses, peasant farmers, commercial transport operators, food vendors, hotels with less than 50 rooms, and all those struggling to earn a living in order to expand and create livelihoods for their families. Speaking at the government house in Calabar on Thursday, Ayade frowned at the activities of illegal tax consultants who extort money from the poor and vulnerable, a practice, he says, discourages the establishment and expansion of infants industries. Now, joining us is the chairman, Cross River State Anti-Tax Agency, Bishop Isang Ima. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you so much. God bless you. Um, could you bring us up to speed on the latest uh, when it comes to this uh, removal of taxes for um, vulnerable people? Yeah, thank you so much. Governor Ben Ayade has found out that in Cross River State, as part of his COVID, post-COVID-19 program for the state, he thinks of reducing the burden on the poorest of the poor. He thinks of social responsibility, of allowing people with low income, people who are struggling hand to mouth, people who are trying to survive, not to be given another additional responsibility of multi taxes. So he has made an executive order uh, in addition with uh, the cross master exemption laws on taxation. And it becomes a crime, therefore, if anybody extorts money from taxi drivers, picking up there, and including sellers of uh, produce and hawkers in Cross River State. Um, many have argued that the term poor is, um, I mean, skewed, it's not clear. How do you distinguish who the beneficiaries are, really? That's a very big task, uh, very, very big task on us. And uh, we locate, for now, we locate them on the, their zones. For instance, those taxi drivers, they belong to certain groups, certain places. You know, taxi drivers and kicking up, they have their parks, they have their takeoff points and their landing points. So it's very easy to locate them. And for businesses, small businesses like small salons and uh, those small shops, very easy to locate them. We need to, after this, go into real serious profiling to know that this agency is just barely one week uh, after inauguration. So very serious profiling will be needed. But right now, we are into uh, public enlightenment. Uh, we are into making people understand their rights. Uh, we are into causing them to understand that uh, no more shall uh, somebody come in the name of whatever to extort money from innocent cross who are already suffering under this COVID-19 period. Has this exemption commenced already? Yeah, of course. Uh, the day we inaugurated, almost everything we needed was released by His Excellency Sir Professor uh, Ben Ayade. Uh, it is very passionate. I don't know if you watched a video clip of the day of the inauguration. Uh, that's the first time in my life I saw a top politician broke down in emotions. Uh, whatever, uh, whatever the opposition may interpret it, I've never seen it all my life. Uh, it's, it's, it's at the back of his mind, I think, his greatest passion. Uh, he came into government with that, with that vision, and he wants to leave the government fulfilling the vision that if at least prosperance have not become 100 times richer, there should not be any less poorer. Um, this is, um, I mean, everyone is going through economic uh, crisis and finding ways to manage. How will the state recover from this tax uh, exemption? Because they form quite a chunk of the revenue for the state, don't you think? Revenue is still being collected. Uh, the, Tax exemption laws uh, does not take the power from the internal revenue service. It does not take the power from them. It only reduces from them the target population. So it's like you are collecting taxes from 700 people, and the governor said, you know what? Focus on 500 people. 
live 200 to survive, to come to a point of at least survival. It's like agriculture. If you plant a tree, you must wait for it to uh, the gestation period. It should grow, it should flower, it should be into fruition. Then you begin to pluck the fruit. You don't begin to pluck the fruit from trees and plants that are yet to grow and bear. So it's, it's very uh, man's inhumanity to man. All right, thank you very much for sharing uh, your thoughts and giving us And, and don't forget, some of these taxes are not government taxes we are talking about. Okay, uh, I think the network went off a bit. Well, we thank you for your time on the news.